Here we are on a 2008 Ford Focus. It's a 1.8 litre diesel. We're going to do the front coil spring on this side. I've already done the other side. And um, we'll start by taking off the wheel. These are 19 mil bolts. And I recommend breaking this loose by hand always. The locking wheel nut. You don't want to bust it. Okay, now we'll raise up the car. This is also a good time just to uh, check everything over, all the suspension stuff, the brakes. If anything is going to give us trouble on this job, it is definitely going to be. Just pull that ABS line up there. It's definitely going to be this uh, anti roll bar link here. So before we even attempt that, we're going to clean it out. Go on, let me There we go. Pull out our ABS line. And then give this a, you know, give this a good clean up. Try and clean up the threads as good as you can. The better you clean it off, the more likely it is to just fly off. Well, this one here looks pretty rusty, so I suspect that's just pie in the sky, and that we're gonna have to get creative to get this one here off. This anti roll bar is a 15mm. I'm going to just try and see if we can buzz it off. Nope. No such luck. It's just spinning now. Pretty much always have these problems with these daft things. <sighs> this is what you end up resorting to. Just the counter hold there. Sometimes you need to tighten it back up first and then carry on breaking it loose. There you go, and you are away. Just pop that back in there so I don't lose it. And that's now disconnected, we'll push that out in a minute. Pull out the brake line, and then we're just going to undo this pinch bottom here on the back. Got 
two bolts in the back of the caliper. need to split these two parts, we need to split this from this and to do that we're gonna split this Now we're completely separated down here on the suspension. You just want to make sure this doesn't smash up your ABS sensor, which is just in there. You can see someone's already mashed it a little bit in the past. You're not too easy, not too hard to split these ones here. You just need to split this little bit here in the back. So the next thing is next, you need to remove the cowling. You just need to pop out these little spring clips here. Like these, they're all the way along take off all of them. So once you separate these, you just need to remove this little screw over here. And that should just move up all the way. So you can get two or one, two, three bolts. Now we'll just hook this up here on the strut and then we'll just let the brake caliper hang there for a minute. So, I've just got the spring in here, take the tension off it, make sure that the uh, shock absorber moves freely, and then we'll just try and buzz off the nut. Okay, pretty standard for that to happen. That is the strut catching, so we'll just have to pinch that off. There we go, just got a pair of grips on there. Now we'll try again. And there we go. We have our little nut. Obviously this will keep it in place. When I remove this, it will fall out. And then we will remove this spring and uh, then we'll get our new spring ready to go. Oh, I need a little bit of help on mine just to get it nicely seated. Just going to tighten down this nut a little bit. Just make sure I've got some good tension on there. I've shown in various other videos how to do this without this uh, spring compressor. I use it because it just makes it, it just makes it an awful lot safer. That is the only reason. Uh, you can just do it with these little ones here. I kind of just use these as uh, helpers really. 
that's kind of all they're really super useful for. Okay. Just give this a little, little flip with the gun. Now it's fitted, now we can go and refit this back into the car. And if you don't know, when you line these springs up, there's a little notch on the bottom here, on the back. You have to line that up with this notch here. This bit here doesn't matter, you can wiggle this top part around. Um, that moves with the steering anyway. This part here, you want in line with that notch there. If you don't, it is possible you'll be able to get it back in the car but you will have no end of uh, steering problems or alignment issues so watch out for that so what you want to try and do is fish up and just try and get one of these bolts started. Kind of difficult to film because the camera's getting wet, but essentially, I just nip these up. And then do the back one. Good, and then the front one. There we go. I'm just going to leave those like that for a second, and then we'll reconnect up everything down here. Well, it honestly is just typical that uh, I've just got it back together and it's just stopped raining, but it got so bad I had to stop filming for a while. But essentially, um, it's pretty easy to put back together. You've just got your 115 here, you've got your 215s in the back of the brake caliper. You've got your 15 for the anti-roll bar link just there. And then obviously you've got your 313s on top of the uh, strut. This is a very, very easy one to change. On some you have to remove the drive shaft and all sorts, but on these they're pretty easy going. Um, so if you do decide to give it a try, let me know how you get on. Yes, try and let your jack down very gently and gently compress the spring for the first time. No need to go full ridiculous on it. A little extra tip for you. I'm in such a giving mood today. And this was the spring from the other side. So if you ever get a uh, an advisory for a rusty spring. Think, is it worth replacing it? If it looks a lot worse than this, then it probably is. This actually doesn't look too bad, but it's still snapped in three places. Uh, so yeah, be careful. <laughs>